Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will use the TV table as a sample space to decide if events are independent and to approximate conditional probabilities. Now, in one of our earlier sessions of presenting data, we have discussed about marginal and conditional distributions using two-way frequency table. In this session, we will continue with the two-way tables and we will see how can we decide whether the events are independent or not. We will also learn to find conditional probabilities using two-way tables. Now, the given two-way table shows how the students in a class performed. In their first driving test, some took the class to prepare and others did not. Now, we want to find probability that a student selected randomly passed given that he took the class. Now, let us define the events. Event A is took the class and event B is student passed. Now in this table, we are given class and no class in columns and passed and failed in rows. So in this table, this is event A and this is event B. Now here in this table, we can see that no class will be event not A and we can write it as event A bar. This means event A not happening. Also, A bar denotes A complement. Similarly, Failed will be event B bar and here B bar denotes B complement or event B not happening. Now here you can see number of students who took class and passed is 64 and this gives us frequency of event A intersection B also you can see number of students who took no class and passed is 38 and this gives us frequency of event A complement intersection B now, number of students who took class and failed is 18. This gives us frequency of A intersection B complement. Now, number of students who took no class and failed is 32. So, this gives us frequency of event a complement intersection B complement. Now let us find the total of rows and columns. Now from table we have total of row 1 as 64 plus 48 which is equal to 112. Then total of row 2 is 18 plus 32 that is equal to 50. Total of column 1 is 64 plus 18 which is equal to 82 and total of column 2 is 48 plus 32 which is equal to 80. Now adding either total of rows or total of columns. Now let us add total of rows. 
total of columns that is 82 plus 80 which is equal to 162 now we can also see that total of rows is also 162 now to find probabilities from two way tables we first define the events now total of column 1 divided by total students corresponding to event A will give us probability of event A so probability of event A is equal to 82 upon 162 now probability of event A complement will be equal to total of column 2 divided by total number of students so this will be 80 upon 162 similarly total of row 1 will give us probability of event B which is equal to 112 upon 162 and total of row 2 will give us probability of event B complement which is equal to 50 upon 162 now we have to find conditional probability that a student selected randomly passed given that he took the class it means we have to find conditional probability of occurrence of event B given that event A occurs now we know that this conditional probability is equal to probability of event A intersection B upon probability of event A now here probability of event A intersection B means we have to find probability that a student selected randomly passed and took the class Now here we know that number of students who took class and passed is 64. So number of variable outcomes for event A intersection B is equal to 64. Now here total number of outcomes is equal to 162. So probability of event A intersection B is equal to number of favorable outcomes for event A intersection B that is 64 upon total number of outcomes that is 162 now we already know that probability of event A is equal to 82 upon 162 now putting these values in this formula we have conditional probability of occurrence of event B given that event A occurs is equal to probability of event A intersection B that is 64 upon 162 upon probability of event A that is 82 upon 162 now further this is equal to 64 upon 82 now we know that 2 into 32 is 64 and 2 into 31 is 82 so this is equal to 32 upon 31 so conditional probability that a student selected randomly passed given that he took the class is 32 upon 41 now where since total number of outcomes cancelled out so we may directly put the frequency values in the formula that is conditional probability of occurrence of event B given that event A occurs is equal to probability of event A intersection B upon probability of event A 
What is equal to number of students who took class and passed upon number of students who took class that is frequency of event A intersection B upon frequency of event A. Now from the table you can see frequency of event A intersection B is 64 upon frequency of event A is 82. So here also on solving we see that this is equal to 32 upon 41. Similarly we can find that a student selected randomly took class given that he failed. This means we have to find conditional probability of occurrence of event A given that event B complement occurs. So this will be equal to probability of event A intersection B complement upon probability of event B complement. Now frequency of event A intersection B complement is 18 and frequency of event B complement is 50. So this is equal to 18 upon 50. Now we know that 2 into 9 is 18 and 2 into 25 is 50. So this is equal to 9 upon 25. Now let us check whether events A and B are independent or not. Now A and B will be independent events if conditional probability of occurrence of event A given that event B occurs is equal to probability of event A or conditional probability of occurrence of event B given that event A occurs is equal to probability of event B. Now we have this conditional probability of occurrence of event B given that event A occurs is equal to 32 upon 41 and probability of event B is equal to number of favorable outcomes for event B that is 112 upon total number of outcomes that is 162 now we know that 2 into 56 is 112 and 2 into 81 is 162 so this is equal to 56 upon 81 so here you can see Conditional probability of occurrence of event B given that event A occurs is not equal to probability of event B. So the events A and B are not independent. So in this session we have discussed how to use the two-way table as a sample space to decide if events are independent and to approximate conditional probabilities. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.